Hey everybody, uh, this is Floyd the Barber and this is uh, Simplifying Radicals, the second part. If you haven't watched the first part, I recommend you go back and, and watch the first part before you see this one. Uh, it, it, this one will make a lot more sense afterwards. Okay, so I'm making the assumption you have. Okay, so to add or subtract uh, like radicals, you can do that when they have the same number inside the radical. So for example, here's the first one, simplify 5 root 2 plus 7 root 2 minus 3 root 2. They all have a root 2, so we just add these numbers out in front. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 minus 3 is 9, so we have 9 root 2. Okay? All right, so this one here. Okay, now 10, I would, 10 is 2 times 5, so nothing comes out of 10 right there. But I do have some like radicals right here. I have 4 root 10 minus a 9 root 10 gives me a, a negative 5 root 10. And then this doesn't pair up with anything, so that just stays all by itself. So negative 5 root 10 plus the square root of 13. Okay, and that's your answer. You can write root 13 minus 5 root 10 if you want. That, that'd be fine too. Okay, all right, try this one here. All right, so uh, 5 root 3 plus the square root of 48. All right, so I suspect uh, square root of 48 simplifies, you guys. In fact, it does. I did that with the factor trees over here. 48 comes out to uh, four twos and a three over there. Okay, so a pair of twos are going to come out here. Another pair of twos are going to come out here. So I'm going to get uh, two times two on the outside. All right, which uh, I get uh, 5 root 3 plus 4 root 3. It gives me 9 root 3. Okay, so this leftover 3 stayed inside of there. So... All right, so we got to do some simplifying radicals, and and what I just did came out of the first part of the lesson. So if you you're lost what I did, that's that's why you got to see. All right, so here uh, square root of seven's prime, you guys. Square root of twenty eight is not, so I'm going to break down twenty eight, and twenty one's not prime either. So I broke them down over here. Uh, twenty one is just three times seven, so I left it as the square root of twenty one because nothing comes out. But twenty eight is two times two times seven, so a pair of twos come out right there, you guys. So when I pull a pair of twos out. I get 2 root 7, and then this is another 2 root 7 minus the square root of 21. So here's some like radicals right here. So 2 root 7 plus 2 root 7 is 4 root 7 minus the uh, square root of 21. Okay, easy, huh? All right, here uh, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this uh, square root of 3 through the parentheses right here. So here I go. I just dis uh, distributed that through. Notice this 2 goes on the, on the outside on the left right here, and here's my square root of 3 times the square root of 12 right here. Okay, I'm going to break 12 down, you guys. 12 is um, uh, 2 times 2 times 3. There's my 12 right there, 4 times 3. Okay, uh, and then up, it looks like i got a pair of 3s that come out, a pair of 2s that come out, so there's no more radical there. So you're going to get um, uh, 2 root 3 plus uh, 2 times 3, which is 6. So that's my answer. So they're not like radicals, but that's the simplified form right there. All right, one more, you guys. We're going to foil these two guys out. Uh, square root of 2 plus the square root of 5 times the square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 5. Okay, remember FOIL is F time, first times first. Okay, so here's uh, first times first right here. Here's outer times outer right here. Outer times outer. Here's inner times inner right here. And then finally, last times last. That's right here. Okay, so here when I multiply radicals, I can put both the numbers inside the radical right there. Okay, so I get uh, square root of 2 times 2. Okay, this, this uh, minus is this minus 3 right here. Here's my minus 3. And then here's my 2 times 5 right there. Here's another 5 times 2 right there. And then uh, here's my minus uh, 3, and then 5 times 5 goes on the inside. Okay, a pair of 2's come out on this one. A pair of 5's come out of this one. Nothing comes out, so that's going to be root 10. This is going to be negative 3 root 10. Okay, so I'm going to have some like terms right there. All right. Uh, okay, so... This is 2. This is a minus 15 right here. I'm going to combine those like terms to get, uh, what, a minus 13? Okay, and then I have a negative 3 root 10 plus a, there's an imaginary 1 right there, plus a 1 root 10 is going to get me a minus 2 root 10. Okay, so negative 13 minus 2 root 10. All right, again, uh, make sure you saw that first part, and then uh, this will wrap up um, uh, section, I think, 8.4 in my, in my textbook, but simplifying radicals.